Welcome to another edition of Today's Religious Truth. I'm Francis Nye. Every week, Today's Religious Truth highlights religion's role in intolerance and oppression throughout the world. This week, we're going to talk about the Christian National Registry for Atheists. So let's get started. It seems like a Florida pastor, namely Michael Stahl of the Living Water Church, is seriously considering forming a Christian grassroots type organization to be named, of all things, the Christian National Registry of Atheists. Pastor Stahl envisions his list to be something akin to a registry similar to that of convicted sex offenders, ex-convicts, terrorist cells, and hate groups, sort of like the KKK, skinheads, and racial Islamic groups, etc. This pastor states that this registry may serve several purposes. First, it will be uh, for merely informational purposes, to inform the public of known self-admitted atheists. He also goes on to say in his article that this registry could be used as a tool for Christians so that they can witness to atheists about the good news or the good word of Jesus. And in some cases, it can also be used to boycott businesses that are owned by atheists. Well, here we go again. Another brilliant and shining example of Christian charity and love. And yes, I'm being sarcastic. The pastor's precatory proposal is so unrealistic, yet it sets off images of a witch hunt in my mind and in the minds of some of the atheists that I've talked to. This pastor is making it sound like atheists are bad people, that atheists are some sort of deviants that should be tracked like animals or predators. Nothing could be further from the truth. You know, in my travels, I've come across a lot of atheists as well as Christians. And you know what? Atheists are no different from Christians, and other than their views about God, that is. Atheists are good, hard-working folks and obey the law for the most part and are very charitable, just like Christians. Most are upstanding citizens with good moral compasses that have a lot to do or a lot to contribute to society just like Christians. To be branded otherwise is just mere silliness in my point of view. You know, this brings up another really good point. Whatever happened to don't judge others, least you be judged? Oops, I guess the good pastor hadn't gotten to that part of the Bible. Pastor Stahl must still be reading the Old Testament stuff. But you know what? That's okay. Because he can skip ahead to the New Testament stuff. Maybe he can learn something. You know, the New Testament, in case he didn't know, is the part where Jesus comes on the scene and he tries to change God's image from an egotistical, homicidal maniac who kills for the mere joy of it. Jesus changes him into a caring and compassionate deity. You know, Jesus is a pretty good PR man to boot. He promises eternal life, no more cutting off the tip of your penis to join up, no more killing animals for sacrifices, which I'm sure my friends at PETA uh, really uh, appreciate. So if you haven't read the New Testament, then I think you should. Other than a whole host of contradictions and mistranslations over time, it has a pretty good message for the most part. There are some things that I really find repugnant. But uh, I'll leave all that for another post. Bottom line, you see, I've read the Bible. The whole Bible both Old and New Testaments, and I know exactly where all those nuggets about judging others are. And just for informational purposes, at the end of this post, I'm going to mention all of them. You see, even though I'm not a Christian myself, you know, I kind of got a theory. Yeah, I know, I use the T word that all the Christians hate. But you know, my theory is actually a really good one. Christians should try to emulate Jesus' teachings not fly in the face of them. In this case, Christians should not judge atheists just because they have an insistence for proof of God's existence. If there is a God, shouldn't it just be comforting enough to Christians that God will judge everyone in the end? Really, what's all the hubbub about anyway? Who cares? I mean, shouldn't all of us, Christians, atheists, or whoever, just learn to live in peace together? Why should any of us ever feel the need to segregate and discriminate against one another? Is our National Registry of Atheists really that necessary? Isn't this just one more stone in the mountain of hate? 
Christians really need to dig deep and ask themselves, is this really what Jesus would have wanted of his followers on national registry? I think when it's all said and done, Jesus would actually be ashamed of Pastor Stahl and his little group of haters. So here's my take on all this. You know, Christians should be trying to clean up their image, not just adding more black marks to it. You know, after more than 1,500 years of crimes against humanity, this so-called list of atheists is really not helping the Christian image. It's hurting it. This is not the way to show others that you have a caring, loving, and compassionate religion. So if you're a Christian and you don't want to be lumped together in yet another scandal, this is your big chance to act. Send Pastor Stahl a letter saying that this is not the way of Christ and you're sick and tired of people like him giving Christians a bad name. Well, that's it for this week. Remember to check out the rest of the blog and also remember to check us out on Facebook. Oh, and before I forget, here are the New Testament passages uh, regarding judging others as promised. See you next week.